Good Friday morning, everybody, and a very happy pre-weekend to you. Things are looking pretty nice across much of the area, at least nicer as we go into the rest of Friday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Anna. Questions or concerns about the forecast or anything you have to ask about anything involving our latest video weather blog, Weather Overtime, drop me a line at austin.onig at wreg.com. We'll be glad to ask, answer any questions that you may have out there. This is our opportunity to give you the weather in convenient format for you, no matter where you are to download where you're at and take a look at where exactly the forecast is going to go for you. So if you have any questions or would like to see something on here, please let me know. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com and we'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. Forecast right here in the blue bar on the lower section of your screen scrolling by if you can't stick around for the entire thing. Red bar a little farther downward shows again all the social media that you can reach me on or at least some of it anyway. I'm available on all of these different social media websites on there and and I need to put the Periscope icon on there as well so you can see a little bit more about what goes on. We'll do live broadcasts on there as we go throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more on that. Latest information from the National Weather Service is showing, again, a lot of activity going on back to the west of the Mississippi River and in the Mississippi River Valley. Again, that river flooding taking place, all that water draining out of Missouri and Arkansas, way too much of it for a certain amount of location. Now, the storm system causing all this, the energy is finally making its way out of our area back to the east of us, but we've got this strong northerly breeze coming down and that's going to do a very good job of keeping us very cool into the rest of the forecast as we get into the rest of the afternoon and evening. So a very cool day coming up, very dry, as well as the rainfall moves on out of the picture. Where is the rainfall at this time? Well, taking a look at our radar scope app, most of the activity has passed all the way to the east of the Mid-South area, rotating around the backside of that area of low pressure. So what you're seeing is the rain showers from around Jackson down to about Holly Springs, moving Moving its way down from basically north to south, again around that low pressure area, which again air rotates counterclockwise around those things. So this is on the back side of that storm system coming on through. We don't have again anything in the way of major amounts of rainfall again from this at this time. Most of what we are seeing at this time is the activity moving its way out of the picture and will continue to do uh, that throughout the rest of the day today. So it's going to be going away from us, but it's going to take a while. If you're east of Dyersburg, back around Jackson and Humboldt, down to around Corinth, you're going to have more of that rainfall coming your direction and going to be sticking around into portions of the rest of the day, dwindling by just a little bit, but most of that should be making its way out of the picture as we go into the rest of the day. Again, most of the metro area has seen the end of the rainfall. There are some scattered light drizzles as we record this back around portions of northeastern areas of Shelby County. Beyond that, we don't really have, again, a lot going on, and we'll continue to monitor that throughout the rest of the weekend, but it looks like it's going to be a dry one coming up as we get into the course of the next couple of days. Let's see what's going on out across the area where it comes to things like earthquakes. Again, it's a very quiet start to the morning on the New Madrid fault line. Nothing going on within the last 24 hours, according to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. And also, you can check out more details either from SERI or also from United States Geological Logical survey. It's available at earthquake.usgs.gov for more information. Currently relatively quiet across the continental United States. Nothing major taking place. Again, some flood warnings and advisories in the green shaded categories all around the United States. Here in the Mid-South, again, the area around the Black and the Current Rivers in northeast Arkansas is still very high. The levels out there way above normal. We'll take a look at those coming up in just a little bit. Gusty northwesterly winds again around that storm system passing on through. That's going to be the hardest portion of what we see there. You can see that pretty easily as that storm system makes its way on through. The visible satellite picture, what you and I would see looking down to the ground uh, if we were up in say the space station and taking a look at this massive storm system swirling through the atmosphere, heading its way back over to the northeast. Beautiful view of those clouds departing the area, especially into and around the area of eastern Arkansas and southern Missouri. You can very clearly see where that line of less clouds are moving on through, and that's going to be continuing to drop its way on through the area. So sunshine is on the way. You can see those clearing skies on the St. Francis Cam alongside Germantown Parkway. Usual heavy traffic at this time of the morning. So again, we are getting some clearing skies. It's just going to, going to take a little bit to get everybody some clear skies in here throughout the rest of the day. More of our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams. And downtown Memphis, 
looking good on the Mississippi River from the Cotton Exchange camera. Clear skies out there, but you can clearly see a couple of things. Number one, the Mississippi River is way up. You can see over toward the Arkansas side of things, the river uh, over toward the area of the Beale Street Landing from across into the area of Big River Crossing, where the uh, police department and the sheriff's department over there have shut down the Arkansas side of the entrance. So if you're heading over to Big River Crossing, you can go across the bridge. You just can't go all the way over to Arkansas and get through because that area is locked. Because if you go further than that, you're going to wind up in some of those floodwaters. You can also see Beale Street Landing, the uh, Curly Q entry ramp has been raised to the highest level because of all that water coming on through and making its way up and into the area of Beale Street Landing where usually you can see the cobblestones and things like that. Meanwhile, back a little bit farther to the south, Beale Street Landing to Tom Lee Park getting ready for the Beale Street Music Fest kicking off this weekend and weather is looking absolutely excellent for that so keep an eye on what's going on out there with our Cotton Exchange camera and that's again available at WRHE.com slash webcams. Lots of water going down the Mississippi Valley into the course of the next couple of days. As we see again, the potential for uh, more of this activity coming on through. Uh, the moderate flooding in and around Osceola, Arkansas, that's again showing that very large curve of water. That surge of water is still making its way into the Mississippi Valley and making its way downstream. It looks like it's going to be cresting by about this time next week. So we should see again uh, the possibility of some very heavy rainfall making its way into the river valley and it's going to be cresting at about 36.1 feet in Osceola next Friday. So we still have a week to go. It takes a long time to get all this water out of a particular area. What does it look like in Memphis? Again, for anything around Beale Street Landing, once again, it's going to be cresting at about 36 feet in about a week or so. And that's going to be, again, by about the time we hit uh, next Friday morning, somewhere in there, depending on how these things change. These forecasts change just as much as other weather forecasts do. So we could see, again, some uh, fluctuations in the in the river levels over the next few days. So stay tuned to News Channel 3. Again, the showers are gone, heading back to the east of us. And we'll continue that direction. We can, you can see that giant swirl of that low pressure making its way on out of here. Seeing, again, uh, clearing skies as we go into the next uh, several hours. Into tonight and early tomorrow, we'll see that cold front approaching. That's going to continue to dry us out by just a little bit. Then it's going to bounce back to the north as a warm front as a new storm system gets a little bit closer to us back to the west and southwest. So that's going to be our next chance of showers and thunderstorms going into the later portion of next week. High temperatures today, upper 60s, a beautiful day coming up. No problems whatsoever. Again, the rainfall chances leaving the area as we get into very early this morning and this afternoon. All that should be gone back to the west of us and some very mild temperatures when the kids get out of school today. Also some clearing skies. Gray shows again where the cloud cover is thickest. Blue is where it's going to be most clear and that's where we're seeing again the possibility of some much nicer, clearer skies out there for today and also for tonight. Low temperatures a bit brisk, so upper 40s to right around 50 degrees for low temperatures. And Saturday's highs look great back in the mid to upper 70s. Saturday night's lows going back into around uh, the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. And then Sunday, high temperatures again back in the lower 70s with mainly clear skies across much of the area, seeing very good blue skies out there throughout Sunday. Sunday night's lows not quite as low, only back in the upper 40s to mid 50s and getting into Monday high temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 it looks like a very clear start to early next week more rainfall on the way for later on and we'll keep our eyes on that over the next couple of days if it clears out in the next uh, couple of days especially for tonight and through the weekend. There should be some good satellite and star and planet gazing opportunities. What's going on out there, including a stargazing party around Mullen Station at the Shelby Farms Green Line Station. We'll talk more about that on our exclusive astronomy blog called Skyblog 3, so stay tuned for more on that. And of course, I'll have your complete forecast on News Channel 3 throughout the course of the rest of the day today online and on News Channel 3 on air throughout the rest of the weekend. So good opportunity to learn more about what's going on with weather, astronomy, science, all kinds of neat stuff. We'll let you know about that. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know. Austin.onic at WRAG.com, the email address at the bottom portion of the uh, section picture here. 
And again, would love to hear from you as to what we can do to make this your comeback weather source across the area. So stick around for more and we'll help you understand what's going on with the conditions out there. Live and direct from around and about the Mid-South area, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online. And thanks for joining us for our latest on-air streaming video weather blog at Weather Overtime on YouTube and also on various other social media places. And stay tuned for more on my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining us. Yes.